What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we go through my top 5 most hyped Forsaken Exotics. Now obviously most of these exotics, if not all, we don't really know how they perform in game. We can only go off what we know about them, what we've seen from trailers and a little bit of information from Game Informer and so forth. Which isn't much to be honest, hence the hype to get my hands on them and experience them. But before we go any further guys to be with a chance of winning my custom controller giveaway like the video and leave a comment down below telling me what forsaken exotic you most look forward to getting your hands on and follow the gleam link within the video description more details at the end of the video people okay so we know of about 15 to 20 exotic so far within the forsaken expansion narrowing them down to five was pretty hard but there are reasons behind each of my choices which we will get into when we actually talk about them okay so getting into to it and in at number five we have the Cerberus Plus One. Now this is a weapon although we have seen slight gameplay on from Game Informer's mini article on it, still not much is known about the auto rifle. I mean we know a bit about it but until we actually get to play with it ourselves it's, it's not quite the same. What interests me about this weapon is how unique it is. A four barreled auto rifle which actually uses all four barrels in combat. I mean how can you not be excited about that? Here's a little more information from Game Informer on the weapon after they saw and played with it first hand. The Cerberus Plus One looks like what would happen if you tried to squeeze all the ball points of a four colour pen through the tip at once, broke the thing and kept writing. It's a patchwork weapon built on the barrels, stock, sights and various remnants of other auto rifles. The fans should be able to spot some familiar parts. There's some origin story in there. Some of it is Kvostov inspired, that classic auto rifle from D1. There's a bunch of various guns, says Greg Peng, Bungie's senior Sandbox designer. Now listen to this, people. Built by a guardian named Jezza Giapardi Valen, I believe that's pronounced, the Cerberus Plus One uses a mysterious power source called the Photonic Heart to power its unstable physique. Though Giapardi had other plans for the heart, perhaps she would have sold it or used it to power some other sort of contraption requiring immense amounts of energy. She had to abandon them after crash landing on the Tangled Shore and think quick in order to avoid being ripped apart by its inhabitants. Using the scrap around her, she crafted the Cerberus Plus One. Using the power of the Photonic Heart, which is inside the battery casing, you can see strapped on the side of the gun. I mean, how can you not be excited about that? The weapon we do know a little bit more on its playstyle, the way it works, and that's thanks to Game Informer for giving it kind of a proper look at it. That article, if you want to see it, can be found linked within the video description. But yes, the Cerberus Plus One is a weapon I do look forward to getting my hands on. So at four guys, we have the Wish Ender. Now this is one of two exotic balls we know about so far. The first exotic ball is called the Trinity Ghoul which we have seen a little gameplay on, mainly from content creators who got to use it at a few events and so forth. I mean, it looks cool for sure, but the Wish Ender, for me, offers more of what we have come to expect from exotics going forward with the game. The Wish Ender exotic bow allows you to see targets through walls when you are aimed down sight. That's ridiculous. It also over penetrates targets, so collaterals for days, people. Now, from the little gameplay we saw on this bow, we can tell a lot about it. The fact we know it can see through walls to an extent. This fact, though, left many people gobsmacked. A weapon which can see through walls? What were you thinking, Bungo? Well, it actually has its limits. We see when it's aimed, the appearance of players through walls isn't permanent. It's unlike a heartbeat sensor style wall hack, but you can't continuously look through walls. We see when you aim, a timer in the form of an energy buildup happens on the bow and then falls down, drops down. There's no doubt this will also have a cooldown to it also, because there's no way Bungie is going to allow you to constantly be aiming down sights and see them targets coming through walls. I mean, there's OP and then there's OP, people. So rest assured, this won't be as bad as many people are trying to make it out to be. I think it looks great and it's the first of many balls we have seen, legendary and exotic, which I'm looking forward to playing with. Okay, so at three people, we have the 1000 voices. This weapon, when I first saw it, my jaw dropped. I was like, what the heck is this thing? It just looked phenomenal. 
But other than its looks, it's what it does that interests me. Now to me it's not that a trace rifle, even though they haven't confirmed that, it's basically one. It's another variant of the Prometheus lens, the Cold Heart, and another new trace rifle we have seen, which is no doubt the exotic trace rifle offering a third elemental damage missing in the game at the moment, which is void. We have seen that trace rifle in previous trailers, that isn't this. Which is quite surprising, I thought they were just going to wrap up the three, one offering a different elemental burn. I'm glad they've gone a step further with these trace rifles. This is something way more badass. And it's great to see them trying new things with all the weapon types. I like that, making things unique, making exotics feel exotic. Using exotics to take a step further to bring us some crazy ass things we ain't really used to. Many exotics feel this way going forward into the Forsaken DLC, and I appreciate that. This 1000 Voices is something super unique in its own way. It shoots an exploding beam of fire. I mean, what? So I can draw my name on the wall and that son of a bitch explodes? Epic. I'm hoping the explosion doesn't occur until we let go of that trigger, allowing us to draw smiley faces on walls. Imagine people the fun we could have. Sounds great. And I cannot wait to learn more about this weapon. Okay, so at two, we have the Black Talon Sword. Now, the reason I'm looking forward to this is, well, for many reasons. Swords, in general, for me, in my opinion, are kind of lackluster in D2. Swords in Destiny 1 were great. The Bolt Caster, the Void Drinker, the Raised Lighter, and the Young Wolf's Howl. Swords were great back then. They were unique because they were kind of new to the game when we first got them. But let's be honest, a sword is a sword, and it's really limited to what it can do and offer. How far can they take them? What changes can be done to make them more unique? Because let's face it, you swing, it kills. Simple as that. Swords in D2 to me, well, are not that great. The exotic World Line Zero is well for most of its use, just a novelty item stored away in our vaults. Because it's a sword, it offers nothing more than any other sword in my opinion. I'd rather use my Quick Fang and equip another exotic at the same time. That makes sense. I said a while back, if you see any new swords, especially exotics, they need to offer something seriously unique. The Black Talon does that. And that's why I'm hyped to play with it. The sword not only swings and kills, as you'd expect, but it also shoots projectiles like what? This exotic sword is capable of taking out enemies at a distance. Epic. Now how this works, we ain't yet sure. But if I had to guess, I'd say it's a sword special attack, or maybe a kill is needed to charge your projectile, or maybe it just swallows a certain amount of your ammo when you fire that projectile. We just don't know for sure, people. But yeah, the Black Talon is the exotic sword I have been waiting for. A sword offering more than just a swing. Okay, so in that number one spot, and the exotic I most look forward to seeing and getting my hands on is a chromatic fire warlock chest piece. The only armor piece featured today. Now, we'll straight up tell you guys, I don't really like warlocks. Always have been the last class I create and play with, and probably always will be. My warlock at the moment isn't even leveled. I think he's about a level two. But he will be leveled for the Forsaken just because of this exotic chess piece. If you don't know what it does, it's incredible. It basically gives every kinetic weapon in the game Dragonfly. Think about that for a second. The Crimson. Headshots regen your health and reload your weapon and now cause targets to explode. Vigilance Wing. The Surus Regime. The Jade Rabbit. Rat King. The Sweet Business. The Drang. The Mylar Multitool. And that's just the exotics people. It's just crazy, and with the new weapon system, primary kinetic shotguns, snipers, dragonflies amongst what perks they will offer when using this, that is just wow, it really is. Warlocks out there, you guys are seriously lucky folks, it seems as though Bungie are really stepping up their game with your exotics. The chromatic fire, unbelievable, and it's because of you, my warlock will be leveled for the Forsaken, I actually deleted a second hunter, my pride and joy, I deleted for a warlock. So I will get there people, I will get there. But on that note guys, we are at the end of the video. Tell me down below in that comment section what exotic you most look forward to using. And guys, before we go, every month I give away a fully customizable controller to be in with a chance of winning it. Simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and follow the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description. It's fast, simple and legit. The controllers for either Xbox or PlayStation made to exactly how you want and it will be sent anywhere in the world. So if you enter, good luck. And on that note, guys, I am out. Thanks, as always, for stopping by, and hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.